YouTube, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Yo, we are on Manga Talks. I don't even know what number we are on, y'all, because we've been moving along with this. Yo, deposit your soul coins and let's get started into today's Manga Talks. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back. Yo, what chapter is this? This is Boruto Manga Chapter 74. Yep, it was right here the whole time. Listen, we're going to hop right into this because this is a pretty cool chapter. We opened up the chapter, okay? Remember, last chapter, we had talked about Ida and Damon and Amado being on the way to uh, Konoha Village. You know what I mean? Because they're going to be cohabitating with uh, Kawaki and Boruto. As soon as Ida steps off... The people in the train station, I love the way they set this up. The people in the train station are in amazement at Ida's beauty. Her, her, it just instantaneously works, okay? She already gives the low down to Shikamaru, letting him know like, yo, Shika dear, listen, bro, I already know the plan and I love it quite dashingly. You feel what I'm saying? I love the fact that I'm going to be, you know what I mean, cohabitating with Kawaki and Boruto, but more or less Kawaki. You feel what I'm saying? Shikamaru was like, you know what? Let me go on ahead and uh take you, escort you to, to your place and everything. Shorty star floating. She said, nah, I got this. I'm going ahead and head over there. Meanwhile, we head over to the estate as to where they will be cohabitating, okay? Because at the end of the day, before we leave that scene, Shikamaru is letting it be known like, bruh. Don't think that you off the hook now that you back here in Kona Village. Like, bro, yeah, you got some safety, but at the same time, you're going to be letting us know what's going on. Fast forward to the actual state where everyone is. Kona Hamaru, Baruto Kawaki, and Sarada and Mitsuki and all of them. Reminding you guys that Baruto and Kawaki are to be the cohabitants. Okay, whereas Sarada, Mitsuki, Konohamaru are like bodyguards in a sense. Okay, so at the end of the day, we get a a inside look of the estate where they're talking about it. And pretty much the most interesting part about all of this is the fact of the matter that Kawaki cannot seem to shake the sense feeling of Momoshiki's presence when he last saw it. Uh, I believe the last chapter or a couple chapters ago, okay, where Momoshiki was in between Boruto and Sarada, okay? He cannot seem to shake this feeling. And it is here that I must ask the question, what is it that Kawaki might know that the rest don't, okay? Because they've been showing this panel a lot lately. But going into it, we get Sai's son and Shikamaru's son, Shikadai and Inosuke. I said Inosuke, oh my goodness. Enojin, this is not Demon Slayer. Enojin, you feel what I'm saying? We get them coming up onto the scene, all right? And Chocho as well, all right? So the Shika Inashiko Cho, you know what I mean, formation. Y'all know what I'm talking about, baby. This is exciting, you feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I want to know what is really going to happen because as we fast forward, we get the meet and greet, all right? I'm gonna call it meet and greet. I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. They meet and greet, you feel what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and fast forward because we're not even playing. Ida finally shows up, okay? Flies down, and she gets a good glare at Sarada and all of them, all right? But it's here that Enojin and them, they start to, oh, she's beautiful. Like, what's going on? Then again, I also do want to point out that she could die, all right? He kind of didn't really seem too, too affected, all right? I, I, I kind of sense, like, Shikamaru running through him, trying to get that trying to make his intelligence more than the energy, you feel what I'm saying, that's being produced onto him. And I like that, I like that. Keep going forward, all right? They are in amazement at Ida's beauty, okay? Chocho, Enojin, they're like, wow, she's so beautiful. So as we continue on, this is the most interesting part, okay? Because this sets the tone, all right? If you guys thought that Ida being introduced sets the tone, nah. This right here sets the tone. My boy, let's go on hop right into it. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, Boruto starts to get a little sense that somebody's in the crib. You feel what I'm saying? So he's like, you know, peeking around the corner. Hey, uh, Ida, is that you? Come on out. Come on out. Say hi so we can talk. You feel what I'm saying? Out pops Damon, bro. Out pops the boy Damon. And you know how Damon is. He like jumping on people's backs and shoulders. Like he piggyback riding and stuff like that. Man, get off me. 
get off me. You feel what I'm saying? Or at least that's what I would like to do if the bull wasn't so strong. You feel what I'm saying? But it is here that it's, this, the tone is set. All right, I know I'm joking, but it's here that the tone is set. Because at the end of the day, Damon knew exactly what he was doing. All right? He was ploying them and pulling them into the trap just to let them know, like, bro, even if y'all wanted to, y'all going to do what I say. And when I say what I say, I mean what Big Sis say. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just the enforcer. You heard me? I'm the enforcer. You feel what I'm saying? And boy, did he enforce. You feel what I'm saying? This man knocked Kawaki and Boruto out. Cold, cold, cold. Had Kawaki wake up on Ida's lap. That's the most disrespect. That's disrespectful, fam. That's disrespectful, fam. How you going? Bro, I swear on everything. If I got knocked out and then waking up on my potential lover's lap, like, hey, yo, your boy just knocked me out. Hey, what? Nah, bro. We gonna have to rumble again. We gonna have to rumble. Nah, I'm not fighting Damon again. But it is here. Like I said, the, t the tone is already set now. Okay? With Damon letting it be known that I run this physically while my sis runs this mouthingly. <laughs> we gonna say it like that. You know what I mean? There's nothing that you two can do that we don't want. You feel what I'm saying? So that... I say is very, very smart of Damon because, you know, for those of us that always watch the, the movies, you know, the villain always tries to make his ploy towards the end when the hero already has enough information on him. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, all right, that's irrelevant. Now it's time to catch you. Nah, Damon said, uh-uh, y'all going to know what I'm about firsthand. You feel what I'm saying? Smoke both of them. Had bulls wake up and this man was like, damn. Bro, bro, that's what we doing. That's what we doing. But we fast forward a little bit to the Hokage office. And it is here where the chapter wraps up because this is a cliffhanger. Okay. We have another cliffhanger. What do we possibly, what can we possibly, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. What can we possibly think can happen now? You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, now that we know Damon is way too powerful. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to also throw them clips right around in here. I forgot to let y'all know. While Boy was letting it be known, look what this man did. Oh, oh, you saw it? Oh, you saw Take another look. Did this man just Naruto bury on mode? Did, did he just Naruto bury on mode his rods, bro? This man caught them. Caught them. Caught them. And he don't have... Mind you, Damon don't have no ocular jutsus. Damon didn't have no... But then again, neither did Naruto. But then again, Naruto could sense malice. So that could be a possibility as to why he knew where the rods were so he would be able to catch them. But for Damon, for Damon, the man has no ocular jutsu. So how did he catch those rods? How did he catch those rods? Bro, bro, with this being said, who's stopping them? Who's stopping them? And with Amado releasing the information that they're about to shake up out of them, what information is about to stop them? You feel what I'm saying? Because mind you, mind you, okay, the only thing that I can think of here is whether or not, because mind you, we do have a uh, Delta. Excuse me. We do have Delta. So, and we did have Ida and Damon, and Ida and Damon were specifically supposed to be destroyed under Ishiki's command. But Amado didn't do that. So who's to say that this man's about to spill some information on some more hidden cyborgs uh, that he can turn on Kona for Kona? You feel what I'm saying? The only ploy around that or the only thing that could stop that plan in its tracks is Ida herself because she knows all plans with the Senri gun. This is going to be hard and we can't forget about 
Delta. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Don't be afraid to hover and heart that like button. Subscribe today to become part of the Soul Gang team. Nephilim, let's get it. Tap that notification bell to know each and every time that I'm uploading these videos. And guys, remember to be good at the game. You got to kill with skill. And until our next nightmare, y'all, think about this for the next chapter, bro. What is Amado going to spill, bro? Because this ain't it. This ain't it.